Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're continuing on with our Team Agile campaign. And uh, as you can see here, there's no ambush, there's no party like an ambush party, because an ambush party doesn't stop. Um, except this time it is. Uh, I reckon they can reach actually. It was the last turn we did this, right? Let's have a look. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, they can get to the lumber yard. Can't get to Lumber Yang though. But I'm kind of cool with that because I'm thinking if I go over the lumber yard, it might lure this guy out. Um, he's like an ambush nearby and he's more likely to attack. Then we might be able to take the capital, because it looks like most attention is over here, where I really don't want it to be, because I have nothing protecting any of it, but uh, so be it. All right, he's still moving, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get to this lumberyard. Go, 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 go. Go with your stupid axe bands. I hate sentinels. <laughs> All right, here we are. Decisive victory, just on his own, because, I mean, look at it. That's terrible. So... Let's start that for now. I want to move the other party up. Let's have a look. Can I get... Yeah, I can't get close enough, can I? Or can I? I'm trying to think if I can ambush. If I go there... Will I have this road covered? Probably not, right? No. No, I won't. Alright, we're taking this. We'll have to ambush next... Uh, next turn. But if we can ambush that, we can take that. Capital easy. If we can ambush the army that's trying to hold it. So let's do this. And, uh, yeah, you can just hang out next to it. Because, yeah, this army can't take on both of them. So they won't try and attack us yet. We can upgrade that while I still have income. And I think in Dong, because the garrison sucks. So what I might do is raise an army. Um, so yeah, let's try and get... Um, a strategist. Uh, Juga Jelly. Juga Jelly. Good old Juga Jelly. What's your beef? Used to work for Team I. I mean, I'm on pretty good terms with Team I, right? Probably not going to try and spy on me. I mean, it's got a good retinue, which makes me think it can't be a spy, right? It can't be, because she was being put to use. Weird army there, though. Weird. Very weird-looking band, but that's fine. All right, she's immediately livid. Wisdom guides. Did I just waste all my money? Desires higher court position. Of course you bloody do. All right, have one. Be, the, be my grand excellency. And don't civil war, okay? No one civil war, please. So what's that going to do? Uh, recruitment cost down. I like that. I like that a lot. That's going to put up industry income. Um, I think recruitment cost. All right. If you civil war, I'm going to be livid, okay? No civil warring. It's going to not change satisfaction at all. Yeah. All right. He's not actually livid for a lot of bizarre reasons. Let's just promote him once. Wait, what? Prestige is a total with title, rank, and wealth. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Never had that pop up before. Because you don't get it when you're, you know, promoting from here. So, kind of weird. No worries. Right, so... Let's get a captain. Um, Probably want the cav captain, right? Although, if I'm defending the place, maybe I'll just go for the G. Let's just do that. So, oh... Ooh, that's pricey. Oh dear. Quick deal. Trade agreement. Hell yeah. Trade with me. Trade with me. Oh, not aggression packs. Nah. Doesn't really want that. Oh, Alright, have a, this. Have one of these. Hooray. It is agreed. Good. Oh god. Alright, good. That's Borta's time. That is Borta's time. My word, that's, uh, I'm really cutting it fine, aren't I? I'm really cutting it fine. So yeah, you'll head over there, you'll be heading down there. Alright, we're making progress. We're making progress, and hopefully we can get an ambush in the next couple of turns, and take that out. I, I'm not going to help you fight other people, alright? I'm busy. I'm obviously very busy, mate. Okay. Okay, Jin Empire, doing something. Moving about. Not 
Princess Pi. God, I wish spies wouldn't, you know, they'd find ways not to come and attack you. That would be great. Alright, more wars going on. Art of Espionage. We shall put up my ambush chances, which is pretty great. Information is its own currency. To know the unknowable is to hold fate between your fingers. Sun Tzu often spoke of the benefits of espionage, saying, Use your spies for every kind of business. Knowledge, after all, is power. A new year begins, and your opportunity to steer your people towards their destiny. Uh, the people come first. Yes? I can't contribute. I don't have any money. Oh my god. Well, this sucks. Your advisors recommend you serve the people, and that is what you've chosen to do. Yet the other princes of Jin see this as neglect. And it says you spend more on courtly distractions to keep them entertained. Well, I can't do anything. I don't have any money. I don't have any bloody money. Ah. I have to refuse. Because I can't afford it. I can't afford it. Gutted. Alright, let's get in here. Still can't see any other armies kicking Focus around, which is awesome. Uh, let's have a look. Pyrrhic victory. Uh, do I just go with that and just take it? I mean, it doesn't seem like there's anyone nearby, but the three turns I'll have to wait to starve them out is way too high. Um, so I'm just going to take it. Our and... Oh, Alright, I only lost one guy. It's fine. We're good. Good. And occupy. So got a bit of extra cash. Our income's spread. actually gone up. Wow. Uh, this place was earning a pretty penny, wasn't it? Excellent. That's great news. General is unhappy. Oh, what which one? Wish, Him. Lord. Two. Jesus. Alright. Zimadzan needs a position. Have it. Done. Jeez, that's going to affect my income again, isn't it? Yeah, probably. You happy now? You happy? Very happy. Thank God. Uh, right, what can I give him? Uh, better chance of capturing officers. It's a nice way to get some extra cash. So let's do that. Jeez. This campaign just sucks when it comes to keeping your generals happy. How happy are you? Like, not very. Bit upset from the banishments. Yeah, not surprised. Should have known that would upset some people. Forward quid. Alright, brilliant. Uh, delegate, that's fine. We'll just take it. So yeah, we're making some great ground against the Vision uh, Empire here. I'm very surprised this is going as well as it is. I'll just have to wait and see. Huge. Sorted. Alright. Uh, I don't really have the money to do much. Not sure I want to upgrade that just yet. But uh, yeah, got more to take. Hopefully we'll be able to get all of uh, Yan Zhou, which would be nice. Uh, do I want to go to the south, though? I'm not sure I want to send, you know, my faction leader just wandering around mountains all day. You know, I might have him go down this way, him go up this way, and I can put my, take my faction leader to the north, start taking more territory. Don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, only 55% chance to ambush. Are you just crap at ambush? No. No, you're not. That's just a crappy place to ambush, apparently. Consider so, ambush. go there. Ambush. The and you. Yeah, also going to the 80%. Advancing. And ambush. Patience Hopefully this guy will be like, ooh, free lumberyard. And we'll be laughing. Hopefully. That's pretty worth it for the garrison. If I lose, like, a single territory this turn, I'm screwed. Because, my god, my income sucks. But I think this is the way to do it. I think we're getting there, guys. Ooh, and I get more stuff. That's nice. Extra faction support, faction-wide. is pretty great. Um, extra replenishment is huge. I think I need to go with the extra replenishment. Honestly. Alright, cool. Um... I don't swap them out just for archer militia or something at some point, but I feel like quite useful to have. Uh, so, Princess Pi, is there anything else you could do for me? Anything else you could do? Don't have the highest stats right now, so can't assassinate anyone. Could try and get an administrative position. Which wouldn't be bad. Uh, let's see. 
I could empower trade. That would actually get me more money. Which would be pretty wild. So maybe I'll do that. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, the effect of the weather on crop yields, territory uh, territory patterns of banditry and current successes of merchant routes all influence trade. When your spies is master the art of studying and predicting these effects, enabling them to exploit faction markets, increase our own trading power. So, we got an extra 100 quid a turn out of that, which is fine. It helps. It helps. Ugh. God, this campaign is terrifying nowadays. But, I mean... We're doing so much better than any other faction has fared so far. Like, we haven't lost any ground to the Jin Empire yet. We're doing pretty great. To the point where I would actually like to push north and try and take over all this territory. Because that would give us, like, this would give us, like, half the map if we took out all of the Jin Empire, like, within range. So, that would be pretty sweet. I think we'd have enough prestige then just to, you know, just have won the game, basically. Chance. They want peace? We <gasps> they want peace. Now we have to say no. We will now we know that they're, you know, they're on the ropes. There's the ambush. <gasps> one failed, but the other one succeeded. Hell yeah. Close victory. Uh, I mean, I feel like we should probably fight this, right? This this is the start of the end of the Jin Empire. So it'd be a shame not to fight it. Um, mm, yeah, yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to fight this. Okie dokie. Lemon squokey? Don't think that's words. Uh, right, you lot. Let's, let's do something. Um. Alright, so you lot are going to go here. Cavalry. Uh. Let's see, I need to pin down the G with something. Which is the annoying thing here. Oh, whoops. Try to get both of you in there. So, <laughs> there was so much cavalry. I really do. Uh, I'm happy to sort of leave this side. Get uh, slightly overwhelmed. I don't have fire arrows either, which is a real pity. It'd be great just to hit that leadership. You know, just constantly. But no. No. Not, uh... Not today, apparently. Alright, you get in there as well. Pin them down. Um, yeah, I just don't know what I'm going to do with all my... Cavalry. In this fight. You try and stop them coming in. And you guys can go here. Alright, let's try it, shall we? Alright, cool. Now let's see what happens. No. Although apparently that'd be super easy for me. And, oh, he's getting away, is he? Come back here. Sly little devil. Okay, they can just keep running. I don't mind. I just want to devastate what I can. Alright, you lot, keep shooting over there. Just all you lot, just, just crush these two. Okay, good. Okay, good stuff. They're surrounded. They're a pain, those pearl dragons. And yeah, they're all fleeing. Okay. They're getting shot to pieces. I'm amazed those mounted save militia are still going. Your words are as pathetic as you are. Alright, start trying to push into these guys. I know it's not a good spot for them. But it's fine, probably. Okay, they're gonna get absolutely crushed. He's getting crushed. These guys. Wow, these G just don't care, do they? God, not having terror in our armies is so depressing. No, I love that with the other force. Hey, look at this. They're actually staying and fighting. That's not okay. Never said they could do that. Oh, yeah. You keep chasing him down, I guess. So they're all running, which is fine. 
So yeah, these guys are taking some time to get get through, I must say. Alright, you lot. Start shooting these pearl dragons, yeah? Just shoot them in the back. And this should start whittling them down rather nicely. Hopefully. It seems to be doing some work. But not as much as I'd like. Alright, yeah, that's quite a hefty countdown now they're all shooting, huh? Yeah, that's not half bad. Any generals dead? Alright, you guys charge in now. I didn't say stop shooting. Well, it's just, that's just more coming in. Uh, so, good. And then charge into the next lot. There we go. Victory. Jobs are good. So a lot did escape. But that's still giving us a big lead. And depending on how much movement they used up getting to us, we might be able to catch them out outside the city. Uh, which would be amazing. Because then we can finish them off and then they're wiped out completely and we can just focus on the city. Which hopefully we can get a couple turns of time. Just shame we don't have a trebuchet in any of these armies. Okay, excellent. So yeah, we did take out a lot of them. Which is nice. Big fan of that. Got a coat. Always nice to get a nice warm jacket. Uh, Yutong. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and murder. Uh, I'm fond of my head that I am loyal to this faction. He's cruel and fiery and all sorts. Yeah, you, yeah. It is the people's <laughs> will. We kind of need the money. They so I'm going to go with the money. And yeah, he's run off that way. Perfect. Out. That's good news. And, oh. I thought Sima Yong made peace with him. That's what I thought. I guess they're back to war with him then. That's perfect. That's buying me a lot of time. That's buying me a lot of time. Except, God, they're just crushing every faction they bump into. Except me. Except me. Thank God. I think we timed this well. I think they are distracted enough that they can't overwhelm us. And yeah, there we go. Declared war on him. And then immediately had one of his settlements crushed. But, uh... Hey, Princess Pi keeps going, so that's good. Good for her. <laughs> Bloody hell. Uh, the coalition starting over there. Yeah, I hope he does well. I hope he gets some, you know, some gains. Um, obviously not for too long. I would like to wipe him out. Ideally. Right, so one army should probably hunt him down. While the other one pins these guys. So I think you're going to go over here and pin them. So we're going to say, you're terribly going to lose. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, continue the siege. I don't think I'll fire arrows out of these guys because it's all just militia. It's all just captains, you know. Alright, so get in there. And close victory. Close enough for me. The people's voice cannot be silenced. Okay, good. Good. Super injured. Uh, all right. Uh, Wu Pai Yu. Wu Pai Yu Wei. And Yu Yun. I think. Didn't I just execute him? No, that was a different guy. With a similar name, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to just kill them all. I'm killing everybody. Alright, I have a chance of getting one of my characters as an heir, right? So I'm just going to keep killing until they literally run out of people. And then I'll just own the faction because Princess Pi will be all that's left. <laughs> that's the plan. Alright, that's the plan. So, replenishment. Good. Get in the sea. You burk. And how if I do that? Oh, I can't get close enough. I would like replenishment. But it seems like he might just have to take the uh, capital himself. But I mean, every other army is super busy, which is awesome. And there's no one else down here right now. Which is excellent. Uh, sadly, though, I'll just sit and fight this one for a bit. Which is annoying. I would love to be able to besiege these places and just take them immediately, but... Trebuchets. Spread in all directions! Okay, cool. So, what's the game here? Am I going to go south and start taking this stuff? 
Am I going to head north? Because at some point, these guys will stop being distracted. Um, oh, it might take a while for them to do that. So, I think I might head down here, you know. Getting a weapons craftsman would be nice. And a copper mine. See, it's like there's potential here for some decent stuff. And I just don't think they're going to muster much of a um, defense over here, you know. So I think I'm going to keep the pace going. I mean, a town. There's, there's nothing in a town. We'll be able to take that easily. So we'll have good momentum. And it will just deny them so much territory. So I think it'll have a lot of potential. So these two we'll have to deal with once we've got the capital, of course. Which we will just go ahead and take. We have, we have a lot of food. We have a lot of food, so we can't afford to do that. Um, she can continue to defend. Check in on Princess Pi. Who, yeah, doing fine. I think we'll just leave her for a second. Honestly. I think we'll just leave her. Uh, <laughs> Maisie's working for me. I think it's so funny. Uh, she, was, she was an enemy, you know? We had a bunch of rivals. Like, a bunch of rivalries going with her at one point. But, oh well. Not anymore. Not anymore. Now she's working for me. Well, now she's working for someone else. But really working for me. Okay, Jin Empire on the move. But still have to replenish. There's not a lot they can do just yet. I just really hope Princess Pi doesn't attack us. I don't want to have to fight her. I don't want to have to beat her up. Because she's my spy. You know? Okay. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Dig through. In Yanzhou. Oh, okay. Got sapping done straight away. Lovely. Uh, while trying to dig through the seam of soft clay, uh, before them, sap has disturbed the harmony of the tunnel and it collapses. Oh, your general is prostrate before you. Apologetic. But there is nothing more that can be done. We must begin the tunnel again. Never mind then. But it says constructed. Oops. Alright. Strike with fury! Seems like it's backwards. Yeah. Huh. Alright, Pyrrhic victory will do. I bet we're going to lose all that cavalry. Let yeah, always. Commence. Always. Alright, we're taking it. This shows much potential. It does. Doubt. An awful lot. Um, yeah, we can, we can do this. Let's repair all this. And upgrade the livestock farm as well. And they might have to wait a bit. Let's see, toolmaker. Yeah, it's quite a good garrison for toolmaker. That's a pain. Um, yeah, extra speed. Hell yeah. Definitely want more battle running speed for them. And you can take uh, Shindu. And night battle, obviously. I'll just delegate that. Making some good progress. Cannot be denied. Making some good progress. We will bring righteousness so taking that. to this settlement. Good. And I guess we'll take the lumber yard next. Then I think I'll take uh, uh, Power Yang. And then I'll head back for these, I guess. Yeah, I'll, I'll take these and then I'll head back for these two. Because just getting the weapon craftsman earlier is just better. And having a copper mine, again, that's just handy. Um, although, let's see. Oh, they have the town and the iron mine there, which is a pity. But it is what it is. It is what it is. So... You there. Remain supple. Yeah, I'm... Mm, Outwards and on. I'm going to have him join, regardless. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're taking it, right? Close victory. Now, because this is the capital, I feel this is the sort of battle we should fight. You know? But also, this army kind of sucks. They have a lot of archers, though. We should be able to kill all the uh, defenders of Earth with their own archers. And just storm the walls with a bunch of axemen. You know? I think it'll be fine. What are they? Dow infantry. All right. Uh, yeah, we're going to do this because it is the capital. This is us getting the emperor, which is kind of a big deal. So let's go ahead and do that. Be bold, for history is on our side. I am ready whenever you are done pontificating. And here we are. Very cool. 
Here's the Imperial capital, Loyang. Could be super easy. Probably. I hope. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, so I don't have fire arrows, which I just realised. So any towers they have. Oh, luckily that one's knackered. But oh, and so is that. But that one isn't. And that's got pretty good range. So it looks like we're attacking here. And uh, that's it. So, cool. That's damage too. Cool. All right, you move in a bit. At last, our reinforcements are arriving. And yeah, just go straight for Defenders of Earth. Thanks, lads. You guys head over here. Okay, just just head over here, guys. Good. And yep, just gonna have to kill the Defenders of Earth. It's all we gotta do. It's all we gotta do. And yeah, yeah, that's fine. Well out of range. Oh, ah! There's the stuttering whenever new troops are coming in. It's a bit annoying. Alright, there we go. Uh, okay, good. Alright, killing a few. Killing quite a few. I like that. Killing some of them by accident. I also like that. I also like that a lot. Uh, no. Don't run forwards. Alright, good. Only 40 left. I mean, they're the biggest threat. They can take out so many guys. So fast. Okay, Defense of Earth over there, too. All those archers are coming in. Okay, good. They're losing men fast as well. Lovely. But yeah, taking out half of them. Our success looms large. <laughs> really, it's already, already at that point. It shows how valuable Defense of Earth are. That they are that. They're considered that valuable. I kind of love it. Alright, half of them dead. Good. And it looks like these guys will be taking some damage too. Just by accident. Which I always love. You know, getting a kill with a missed shot is the most satisfying thing in the world. Okay, again, whittle down. And of course, you know, we are running low on ammunition. But we have other archers. So we should be able to deal with these guys pretty well. So pretty happy with that. Only 20 left. That's two-thirds of them dead. And we are doing a ton of damage to the Protector of Heaven as well. Uh, which I think I will start shooting at a little bit too. Start whittling them down some. Oh, which has given these guys the confidence to stick around, which means they're getting killed even more by accident, which is pretty great. Big fan of that. Okay, good. This is kind of obscene though, isn't it? This is very cruel. <laughs> Ah, oh, the lovely, gentle pitter-patter of Drizzle. Oh no, no, it's 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 death from above. My bad. Okay, only eleven of them left, which is nice to see. They got real beaten up. Lost half of the unit. Lovely. Now let's go for the Dow Infantry Captain, because of course he's in charge. Ah. Oh. All right, you run over there. Okay, good. Put on guard mode. And you can start shooting at them. Actually, start shooting. There's only six of them left, and yet they are still going. That's crazy to me. Stubborn little sods. Hey, I put you on guard mode. That means you don't move. You people are the worst. Okay. Rain fire down on them. Lovely. Alright. Off you lot go then. Uh, you're out too, huh? Oh no, you haven't even fired yet. That's your beef. Cool. Alright, so. Let's get our axemen up here. Uh, so I can't, I can't go there. Because of this. But that's perfect. Excellent. Okay. Get some lovely damage into them. Now let's go for the Protects of Heaven again. So they have one other unit of Protects of Heaven that's actually alright. 
Uh, Defenders of Earth. Oh no, they got another unit over there. Okay. Yeah, these guys should get whittled down pretty well. And yeah, those axe lot should fare all right. And all right, so they will be able to hit while we try and take the walls, which is something that is going to be a bit annoying. But it's not going to be too bad. Let's have it get whittled down. All right, let's have a look. You lot, all of who are on guard mode but don't care. I mean, seriously, like, what is your problem? It's very frustrating. Like, guard mode, they should just stand there. You know, hold position, not per uh, pursue, disengage targets. But nope. They don't seem to care. So, defense of Earth. Okay, whittle down some more. So, 30, 28. Alright, yeah, they're getting whittled down pretty quick. Good stuff. And they're getting shot at, too. How are they getting shot? I told you to attack them! They just don't seem to listen these days. It's very upsetting. Alright, only 18 left. 17. And they are shooting. Oh god. See, this is why I don't want them doing anything. They are terrifying. Look at that. It's just unbelievable. Okay, only 10 left. Good. They're getting shot at a ton. Uh, there's still plenty of these guys, though. Still plenty. How many of them are left? Seven. Oh my god, die already. Alright, not you. You can leave. And you can leave. Everyone else, though. Start whittling down there. I'm fine with there being five of them left there. And four there. That's fine. Let's take out everything else. Okay, good. Alright, you guys start chasing them down. Good. You start charging in. And uh, take out the barricade. Apparently Agsmen are very good at taking out barricades. Which uh, I wasn't aware of originally. It's kind of cool. And, oh, there are still some defenders of Earth in there. But uh, we have so much cavalry. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm actually just going to take all the healthy cavalry. I think anything more than that would be a problem. Okay, so we've got some great damage into them. Let's start going for this lot. Alright, you all decided to leave? What is your... What is your problem? You were all up here, and now you're all climbing down to climb up here. The pathfinding on cities can be so weird sometimes. It can be real frustrating. But yeah, we've got good armor piercing, so those defenders of Earth should get absolutely wrecked. That defender of Earth. Just one. <laughs> There's only one left. Good. Alright, now go take out them. Alright, good. No, 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 no. Oh, missed out on the charge bonus. That's a shame. They're running. There's only one, so it's not too bad. Uh, I guess you can get involved too. And yeah, I lost so many of those axe band. And nothing left shooting the protector of heaven. I'm still seeing one defender of earth. What? I was hovering over here. Well, that's odd. Okay, so that's going well. And, oh no. They've set fire to the fairy light. Aww. So yeah, you guys deal with them. Okay, you charge in. Go for them. And it looks like we are losing up here. They're bloody sturdy. They don't like going out without a fight. Alright, all you lot. Line up. You lot, you can all fall back. Okay, good. No, he doesn't. He's fine. Hopefully. God. These guys are all so good at staying alive. Please die. Come on. Come on. Alright, let's fast forward a bit. Okay, let's see. If I tell them to attack that, I think they might be able to. 
I think they might be able to. Maybe. Maybe this is a bit of a worry. And his health to go down pretty quickly. Oh my. Alright, a few dying. That's fine. Alright, he killed that one. That's cool. You guys don't understand how that works, but... So you be running slightly the wrong way. Okay. Killing another few of them. Kind of considerable amount, actually. Alright, you head over here now. Let's let them get sandwiched. That's fine. That'll do. And you lot. Okay, we'll charge past all the towers, which is a bit of a nuisance, but also, like, fair enough. And, uh, go take out these defenders of Earth. Which hopefully will keep them around this way. Yes, good. Good stuff. And yep, you guys just be surrounded and hopefully die. Okay, did that help? Seemed to help a bit. Good. Alright, cavalry. How are you lot doing? Are you going to capture this as you go? Maybe. Let's, uh, let's actually do that. There we go. Oh, you know, we are getting it just by running through. So we'll just tell them all to attack. Okay, 112. God, it's just... They just won't die. 400 kills they've got. Okay, you killed a few. Good job. Uh, they're starting to waver now. I thought they'd be dead in seconds. There's barely any left. Alright. Put the work in. Okay, good. March Killing a few double. more. Go, yeah, go, come go. come bail these guys out. Attack. So I can get these guys over here. Get a proper surround on them. Be ready. Oh, which I thought we had already. Okay, come on. Show no and... Prepare. Yep, get shot horribly. Oh, gotta go all the way around. So many towers taking pot shots at us. And just the fact that these guys could reach, that is devastating. I mean, look at, look at this. Ugh. Awful. Absolutely awful. And how are you still going? Still five. Absolutely mad. Like, without this guy attacking, they just don't lose any men at all. It's crazy to me. Absolutely crazy. I mean, that's, that's what it is, right? Yeah. 75% melee version. Mad. Alright, five of them left. What? We are capturing no, attack city. that one. Oh, did we reach? We did! Hooray! Oh, and it looks like they are actually losing men pretty quickly. That's great. They're so resilient, usually. But I just think having literally all of the cavalry ever charging them seems to be doing the job. So yeah, these guys are broken now. Thank God. God! They just don't want to die. I mean, they are the best unit in the game, aren't they? Um, we were fighting an army comprised of the two best units of the game, plus Dow's sword guard for some reason. So, kind of expect them to stick around, but God, they just don't want to die. A quick uh, indeed. The so, lost a thousand guys. Sounds about right. Got some control. We're going to occupy it. This location suits our plans. And uh, there we go. Emperor Hui finds a new protector. Uh, Tima Jong. Emperor Hui has fallen into the grasp of another prin prince who now claims the title of regent. Really? I didn't get a choice to decide to be emperor? What decides that? Whether you're going to be emperor or not? Because when we did it with Tima uh, Yue, we actually got the choice and I said... Let's become emperor, maybe. I don't know. I think I chose regent, actually. Either way, it was a save I didn't keep. Because, like, yeah, this is just... This hasn't helped us at all. Because um, <laughs> I thought it'd be like getting the emperor in 
Three Kingdoms normally, and you get control of the Han Empire. It's not the same with the Jin Empire. Doesn't doesn't work the same way. But anyway, I guess I have them now. Power increases. We're an Imperial Prince now. Ultimate power is within sight, whether it be as a shepherd of the Emperor or as the Emperor in your own right. Push onwards and secure fresh foundation for the Jin. Now we control the capital, so we've got a bit of extra cash. Proposal. Huh. At last, you have control of the capital. One of your kin, Sima Ai, a highly respected prince of Jin and brother to the Emperor, comes to you and suggests that together you can protect the Emperor in a co-regency. Huh. Interesting. As a show of his loyalty, he offers you valuable information. However, if you reveal it to his enemies, it may be enough to convince the court that you alone can rule as regent. We can strike a bargain, which means we have control of the emper uh, Emperor. Sima Ai will love us. We'll be regent. Cool. People will hate us. <laughs> or we could reject, in which case people will love us. We'll be regent. We'll gain control of the Emperor. Team I'll hate us, but he'll also be dead. Or we could betray them all and just be Emperor. Which, uh, you know, have to deal with some pretty big debuffs to begin with. Um, we'll get 150 prestige out of it, which I can't actually check what our prestige is on right now, which is kind of sad, because actually I think if I uh, betray them all and become Emperor, we're only like 50 off winning the campaign. Uh, which would be a laugh. Uh, so yeah, diplomatic relations minus 80 with Sima Ai would be sad. Uh, most people would hate us, but Sima Ai would like us. So basically be, you know, do we want to team up with Sima Ai? Which would make everyone else very upset with us. Or do we tell everyone that he's a bad boy and they'll kill him and we get to keep everything and people love us for it. Uh, I think we'd reject him. Sima Ai will hate us. You know, the faction... Whoever takes over. Um, but I don't care. <laughs> I think I'd rather everyone else really like me. And I'd rather be regent. I don't necessarily want to be emperor yet. Um, I want to play this like Julius Caesar. Right? I want to be gradual in it. You know, pretend I don't want it. But I do. That kind of thing. So, reject him. Sorry, Team I. Sorry, mate. Sorry, buddy. The information offered easily undone your rival. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving the Regency to you and you alone. Yep. Good stuff. Uh, so, these guys. Uh, they don't like me much. Apparently we've done a lot of war atrocities. An awful lot of those. But no worries. Uh, so what is our thing on? So, okay, we need like another 400 to get to the Victorious Prince. Which might be all I do, actually, in this campaign. Um, I think doing an ultimate victory in both of the campaigns I'm playing is a bit... Bit of a stretch, I think. Uh, we'll just be doing 3k forever, if that's the case. Because uh, these campaigns do get stale, I think. Um, after, you know, after like a month or two. And that's what it'll take if we're uh, trying to juggle two campaigns. So I think this one ending a bit shorter. Yeah, I think that'll do. So, okay, we have uh, Emperor Hui over here. Could easily get taken, is the problem. So these guys nice. will need to shuffle along, I think. They will need to shuffle along. And okay, I don't have the money for this. Oh, God. All the food. You're going. Get out of my house. Because, yeah, we are low on food. Can't believe I was selling it. That is not okay. Trying to starve me. It means we can't take that regional city, though. Uh, we'll need to take the farmland. In a hurry. God, there's two more cities to take? I think I'm just going to have to keep sacking them until they're not impressive cities. You know, until they're like towns. I'll just keep sacking them until they're towns. That's what I'll do. Uh, over here, though, livestock farm, which would be nice. So maybe I should go that way first, just to get my food under control. Although it will be under control once that's destroyed. So that's not so bad. So, yeah. All right. So things are going well. Jin Empire are getting crushed. We're taking a ton of territory here. So we've got two there, two here. Three of their territories up here. So, oh, and Dong. So we've taken, like, what, seven cities from them so far? And they haven't really pressured us much at all. So this is going very well. How we stole their emperor. <laughs> That's how you know you're winning. It's like, haha, got your emperor. Turns out it's actually just your thumb. But they don't know. They don't realize. It's, uh, it's good like that. <laughs> Jin Empire making a move. Yeah, they're, they're coming for me. Slowly, but surely. Okay, now they're building a bit of steam. 
Now they're starting to build up steam a bit. Towards me, which is scary. So yeah, I might have to keep those two armies at the capital. See what I can do. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, they've they basically finished that, haven't they? He wants to join the military alliance. No one wants him. We withdraw it then. Sorry, mate. But yeah, they're definitely wrapping up their wars over here, and that's a problem. Regency, uh, Hua Hua Jintin is taking over from Sima Ai. Fair enough. Or Sima Ai. Sima Chi demanded a guarantee of autonomy from Sima Liang. The Empress dies. About time. The Empress, deposed uh, from her questionable regency, has chosen death over exile. She took her own life, as many do, by drinking gold-laced wine. What a lunatic. How do you act in the aftermath? Um, will be important. All right. Uh, I think rejoice. She was the worst. She kept telling people to go on, you know, go on wars for the sake of it. And only I choose which wars I go on for the sake of it. The Empress was a vine tangled around the Emperor. You rejoiced for China will be better with her gone. Yeah. I'm cruel. Alright, so you there. You need to go take this farmland, mate. Uh, except you're injured as hell. It's not... Yeah, we're going to have to wait. We're going to have to wait a sec. I don't want to push out too much and get surprised by something. Okay. You... Uh, again, we can just we can just auto resolve this. Not a problem. Our faith was rewarded. I'm glad. I'm glad. Faith in what exactly? Our armies. Only by growth will the uncommon word be talent. Spread. I don't want to promote any mystery person because they might want a you know a really good position in power and I can't give it to them. So your general comes to you with a recommendation. I witnessed a great talent on the battlefield. I said no, no, no one's allowed to be in charge of anything. And then told him to leave. That's how it's done. Oh, we do have more uh, more positions, though, which is nice. Although everyone's pretty happy these days, I must say. Uh, we could potentially recruit a few more people, you know. And just give them nice positions. Also, we have so many administrator slots that we can't use. <sighs> well, yeah, anyway. We'll have, to, we'll have to do some shopping at some point. See which characters we get. Because we are missing out on a lot here. There's not having the characters to do anything. But, uh... It feels like a very traditional Total War experience right now. So this is earning us a pretty penny, isn't it? I mean, mm, it's earning us a bit. It's not the best. That trade port would sweeten the deal. But uh, maybe not just yet. All right, so what I could do now with these guys on the way is set up some ambushes. In all things... So, will that cover the city? No. For China. But, if they manage to take the city, then they're going to get stuck there. Which I'm kind of cool with. Forward. And you can guard the road. Now we wait. If we do that, hopefully we can catch out some of our enemies. Remain flexible and that would be handy. Agency. Uh, yeah? we need that? No, not really. Eh, could do. Alright, what's going on here? What have we got? We've got the trade influence one, and spice, whereas we could go for the... just big income from commerce. I think we really need that. Alright, I might build this. No, I won't. I won't bother. Uh, over here, though, I'll build this. No, I won't. No point. Let's build this. Get peasant income up. That's more useful. So, uh, yes, we will have diplomatic bonuses minor factions. So this is a nice idea, actually. Create vassals. Uh, Timmy Yong seems like he might be game. We feel honored. Uh, I'll make sure you're autonomous. And I'll give you some armor. Hmm. We're close. Have some more armor. We're very close. Have... Uh, 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 more armor. Cool. He's a vassal now. I mean, that seems like a good shout, right? I mean, probably. For my people. Good. Great vassal. Huh. Maybe not. 
Him, maybe not. Solway. Oh, yeah, that could work, huh? That could work quite well. How about you? A joy to see you. Um, you can be autonomous. Here's work. Autonomous, and I'll give you a ton of money. Uh, all right, I'm making three grand per turn now, so 400 each turn, and I'll probably get that back from him because he's my vassal. Let's do that. This we will do. Okay, so I think that's all I want for now. But I did want to get a couple of vassals in, just so I can strut my funky stuff. So there we go. Vassalize a couple people. Does actually put our prestige up at all? I think it does, but I'm not sure, honestly. I feel like it should. Also, Timberland and Tima Yue are both gone now. I do love their portraits are just fire. Like, you can still see they're in there, but their faces are on fire. So you think it would just be the flag burning? No, their entire face is just on fire. That's how you represent them losing. Their face is on fire. It's just a bit much, I think. Um, it's a bit much. Um, Make it quick. What do you think about peace? Wow, they're well into it. Not so into that, though. Because, honestly, I wouldn't mind if they were just my vassal. I'd be down with that. I'd be cool with that, for sure. Um, also, hang on a minute. There's Jin Empire. Yeah, Jin Empire is still more powerful than me. Supposedly. So. Yeah, well you. Met, uh, I think I might just leave him try and defend. I don't want to tempt fate by trying to tell him to attack anything. So I'll leave him to it, I think. I'll leave him to it. And this guy, he's just my pet. He can just hang out here. Because he has a commandery and hasn't pushed out any further. So, that's fine by me. Um, so this toolmaker, what have you got? Very small garrison. Which makes me think I might take it now. Oh, I'm going to wait a turn. I'm going to wait a turn. I just don't want to rush. So yeah, I think, uh, I think that'll do for this turn. I don't really want to spend any more money, though I am earning a fair bit more now. We still have minus two food, which is a problem. So we will need to take a farm nice and quickly. Um, and yeah, just all the like extra cities kicking around, those are a problem. Those are definitely a problem. It would be nice to take some of this stuff, though. There's farms all over the place in this area. But I just can't believe the Jin Empire. They've just got, like, regional cities. Every one of their cities needs to be a small regional city or a regional city. It's pretty crazy. Okay, everyone moving in. Hey, is that Princess Pi? Wasn't she over there a minute ago? Or is that someone else? It just looks very similar to Princess Pi. I mean, it could be. It could be. I offer an alliance. Uh, an alliance with the Jin Empire. Are you sure, mate? Are you sure about that? Again, I don't think he seems to be paying attention to what's happening. Uh, one bow. Oh, what the hell, man? When ordered to leave the lands by a local official, the general simply answers with a laugh and orders the official imprisoned. Conviction regarding one's own actions is to be encouraged, but not at the cost of exceeding rightful authority. That's chaos surely spread. You total douche. What? Oh, he's still happy. Despite being a total douchebag. Uh, so, yeah, these two armies... I mean, they're pretty sturdy. They're pretty sturdy. It's going to be a little rough, I think, if we have to fight them. But, uh, hopefully one or two will get ambushed, and we're laughing. Um, even just one is ambushed. Like, it's going to give us a good advantage. So, that's all I want. Right, so now... I'd say we have the forces to take the, uh, farmland. Though we can't quite reach it yet. Which makes me want to take the toolmaker, but I need a farm. Like, in a hurry. I really need a farm. Although we can't just take this weapon craftsman now, so I guess I'll take that. Okay, night battle. Delegate. God, we are taking a lot of territory in the south. Which is very heaven. nice, I must say. Like, it's it's helping us out to no end. Okay, good. Occupy. We will bring righteousness to this settlement. Uh, I guess I'll just spend my winnings, as it were, on that. And... Yeah, let's move here. Let me take the farmland this turn. Well, this next turn coming. But it means we get one more turn of uh, replenishment. So we'll have to do it that way. Uh, these guys have to lie in wait, I think. I just don't think we can afford to push out. Because I don't have night battles, do I? Nah, this guy doesn't. 
Uh, does he? Can he can he can get it? But he's still only level one. So getting him a level up would be great because night battles are so useful when you're outnumbered. If you just take out one army at a time, um, it's so beneficial. Probably, probably the best skill in the game is uh, fire arrows slash night battles. I'm amazed at the same skill. It's pretty crazy. Hang on a minute, that was food, right? Yes, it was. So yeah, that's that's great. I can't rush it though, sadly. But yeah, we do need more food. Oh, we're actually on 12 food. Oh, we did get some more. No worries then. That's actually a lot better. Um, good. Good. Alright. Let's move on. And see what happens. Okay, Jin Empire. I can see him moving up there. I see you there. I can see you. And hell yeah. Close victory. Is that enough for me? Am I happy with a with a close victory? Hmm. Yes. Yes, I am. Alright, I get out of my house. Oh wow, that actually kinda sucked. What a rubbish ambush. But it's a start. Uh Fong Lee. Uh I'm gonna go ahead and kill you. It is the people's will. And I got silly money. They have suffered enough. Good. Now he's gonna come in and surely fight me. Close defeat. And it's a night battle. He wants to have a night battle. A good retreat. Uh I'm not sure if that would help me or not. I'm going to try. Because if I get one turn of replenishment, suddenly I will outnumber him. Oh, hello. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Well, this is... Hmm. I mean, map view is just going to be an open field, right? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Huh. This is going to be an interesting battle, I think. I think it's going to be quite an interesting battle. Because it's going to be nothing at all trying to hold off the forces of this huge army in the town so I can join in with the rest of these guys which is kind of bizarre he thinks it'll be a valiant defeat probably because and honestly I think it might be because I think these guys might be able to storm the town so fast that the reinforcements won't be able to arrive and if they do it'll just be like my cavalry first and I'll just be feeding them um, unit after unit I think it'd be really tough so that's tough and the fact he's not doing a night battle is very clever it is very clever, because I can't retreat again, you see. So I think this is going to be super interesting. So I want to fight this battle, so I'm going to fight it in the next episode. So guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, be sure to tune in next time for when we, I don't know, put the gin back in the bottle? I don't know. Something. Probably something funny. Pretend I said something funny and then comment it in the comments. Yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.